I step all the officers involved, the conspirators, you know, they conspired to violate my rights, the other sheriffs, and I will be writing up complaints on them. But this was the sh Deputy Sheriff Wright was the, uh, the lead sheriff that approached me <coughs> and was talking to me who illegally detained me. Okay, and you, have, you, you anticipate having additional complaints on the others that day, the same incident? I will have additional complaints on, the, uh, on uh, other sheriffs. I want this treated separately because I would like to see Deputy Sheriff Wright uh, removed from his position. Well, I'm just going to tell you this logistically. If it's all the same incident, we have the ability to investigate the entire incident and anyone involved. So. Hey, no one's saying that you can't. I, I understand that. I'm telling you, if I didn't know the nature of your complaints or the other people, once you mm -hmm. have that together, you can send it to me. Um, and then we'll just put this all in one case. So that way the division commander can look at the totality of the incident at one time. And anyone who violated policy can be named in there. So just, just so you know. Uh, yes. It would be helpful if you could get that. I will get that information. And all, and all the uh, sheriffs, and because um, I don't believe all of them were deputy sheriffs. I believe there was also a couple of uh, regular police there. Okay. Um, I, That's I, fine. You have video. Of yeah, I have the video. And a couple of the officers uh, uh, refused to identify themselves. Okay. I and put that in the complaint. you naming an individual, so it, that works for us. So if, if there is someone in the video that, that the division feels violated policy. You don't have to have named them for them to, to be cited as violating policy. Okay. okay. So yeah, that's it, just the nature of the incident. They'll have access to your video as well when they review the case and all that. So um, it, it'll all be taken into effect. They're not going to only look at the one. Oh, they're not going to look at officer, right? They're going to look at all the officers. That are in your the video. interest that, that the sheriff has is for the entirety of the agency, not just who gets complained of. Okay. Yeah, so because. Can, uh, that copy of the that complaint form, so I can just have yep. my own. Absolutely. Because what happened was dangerous. They put my life into in jeopardy. I mean, Sheriff Wright, in the way the Sheriff Department just acted, puts the public's safeties, the public safety, at risk. Mm -hmm. All I am is a parent trying to uh, report crimes against children by the Cobb County School Police and the Cobb County uh, School Administration. They are covering up crimes. I am not the only parent that has experienced this. Yeah, Cobb mm -hmm. County School Police are corrupt. They, they're their own separate entity. They answer to no one. Yeah, I understand how they're set up. I'm trying to get my property really? back from them. Because every single cop I've ever asked doesn't. It's scary there, I'm telling you. They, they, they don't you know, know if there's a county police department, or a school police department? No. When I ask who the Cobb County School Police are, who they answer to, I get a different answer every time. I have it all on record. No one. They I have it all on record. Yeah, they only answer to the school board. That's who they answer to. And the, the school board is acting like a police department, and the police department is acting like law enforcement. They're, they're taking their policy and treating it like law, mm -hmm. just like your sheriff's here, your deputy sheriff's here, so did, did, did on the air and try to turn it into law, so violating so. people's rights. This and, is putting again, kids' lives in danger, people's lives in danger. Deputy Sheriff Wright is a danger to the public. You feel like your life was in danger? I, I felt like my life was in danger. Help me understand why you're saying that. <clears throat> it's written down in the, uh, in the uh, paper. Deputy Sheriff Wright was acting hostile aggressive, irrational. He escalation skills at all. Okay. He escalated the situation with the assistance of his supervisor mm -hmm. and with about a half a dozen other officers. Okay, so they- All had loaded weapons and body gear on them. Well, yeah, that's how they report to work. Um, uh, yeah, I, did, I, did, I didn't I have mean, a weapon. They did come up in an aggressive manner with a man with a camera to stare grievances for his son. In an aggressive manner, do you mean that they- Charged me. Yeah, they came, came running up. up in an aggressive manner. They, they came ran, running up. They ran up to you? They ran up to me. Okay. It's on video. Okay. Did they touch you? No. no. I stopped them. You stopped them? Yeah, I said, do not touch me. Okay. Had you not said that, you felt like they would have? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And Sheriff Wright, uh, Deputy Sheriff Wright, was barking orders at me to sit like a dog. Told me to sit. 
Turn off my recording. Sit. Turn off your recording. Sit. Repeated it. I asked him, what law am I breaking? You're just breaking the law. What law am I breaking? He couldn't tell me. Okay. You know why they couldn't tell me? Because there is no law. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at it. And uh, like I said, once it goes through the process, however it uh, is closed, you'll be notified via the email you provided. Uh, because, I mean, thousands of people are watching all across and the your world. Your email is audittheCops at gmail.com? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'll make sure Can I have your business card? Yeah, let me go get one out of my All house. right, great. Thank you. All right. Anything else before I step back? <clears throat> and like I said, when I, when I leave here, I'm going to walk over to the uh, DA's office, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that my life is not put in danger again. How can you... Uh, let me call the uh, commander over court security and see if there is a, any kind of thing that they're supposed to enforce that the judge has made them enforce. A court that order. Time. Yes. Yeah, there is yeah. one. I yeah, that'd be great right. if you check to see if there's a court order from a judge before we go over there. And that, and, that pertain, right there. and that would pertain to the court proceeding in front of the judge or in front of a jury yeah, because I, I their, their identities I, need to be protected. I know what yeah. a court order is. So let me go check and make sure that you won't be encountered uh, by court security. And if so, why that? Why they're saying that's going to happen? So I'll be right. Yeah, I need I'll the the actual law. And pol I need the actual information. Yeah. Right, not just right. not just because. All right. Let me let me let me talk to my room here real quick. There you have it, folks. There you have it. It was a uh, Cobb County. Deputy Sheriff saying that I can record. And we all heard Deputy Sheriff Wright when his lackeys with loaded weapons putting my life in danger. I'm trying to report the Cobb County School Police and the Cobb County School Administration for covering crimes against children. <clears throat> they are capable of doing this because we have law enforcement that acts like this, like Deputy Sheriff Wright. I'm in the Cobb County Sheriff's Office under uh, Sheriff Craig D. Owens Sr., Chief Deputy Rhonda W. Anderson. Let me give you a, a photo of that. And I don't know the, the phone number over here. This is, uh, we're in Marietta, Cobb County, Georgia, uh, Marietta. Yeah, hey, yeah, you do need to get a signed copy of your complaint. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna give that back to me. Oh, they, they had an awesome uh, plaque up over here uh, a few years ago. It had the, the history of all their handguns. They had it up over here. I wonder where that went to. They had some of the really awesome first uh, six shooters. Oh, it, okay. it, it was a neat thing to look at. Have you ever been up to the FBI building in uh, D.C.? I, you know what? I, about 